On Transact, I will guide you that how you can go ahead and create your entire sales transaction. Let's go to our transaction module for that. On your right hand side in the very top, you will get an option of create document. Select that. On Transact, sales document is mainly named as order confirmation. Click on order confirmation. I need to select the buyer company here. Once I will select the buyer company, a proper order confirmation document format will get opened in front of me. I need to go and put a title for that. Now, the document number will be auto fetched from your settings module. You can very well go ahead and make it manual and change your series as well. Now, going below, I need to go ahead and put the dispatch. So, 31st August, I have put the dispatch date. I can very well go ahead and fill the PO number, PO date. As these are not the mandatory fee, you can go ahead and fill it according to your requirement. Going below, I will go ahead and select the item here. So, cash pack, I will select. All the details of item will be fetched from your inventory model. Now, I need to go ahead and put the quantity. Now, going below, I can very well go ahead and put an extra charge. By clicking on this, I can go ahead and put an additional detail from here. As well. So, in additional detail, I am just putting the term and condition. So, I need to click on term and condition, and then I will click on this three dots. I will select this term and condition. Now, once you will hover on this term and condition, you will get all the details. Now, going below, as you can see, the total amount and each and every details will come in front of you. So you can very well go ahead and save it as draft or you can save and send this document. So I will save and send this document. Once I will save and send this document, the order confirmation or sales order will get created. I can go ahead and share this order confirmation on WhatsApp as well. Now, once your sales transaction is created, the sales document, the main sales document is created, then after you need to go ahead and create the invoice or you can send the material to Chala. You can go ahead and create the invoice and create Chalan from here as well on your from your right hand side. Also, you can go ahead and see the transaction timeline and you can create a document from in your transaction timeline. So click on view transaction. Now, in view transaction on your right hand side, you will get an option of create document. Click on this. Now I need to go ahead and create a tax invoice for this. You can very well go ahead and create a performer invoice or a receipt voucher as well. I will click on tax invoice here. Now, once I will go ahead and create the tax invoice, this will be the tax invoice format which will get opened in front of me. I will go a little below and then after I will select the payment date here. 31st of August or the date on which the payment have been made. You can very well put the delivery note, kind attention, and all the details. As I have fetched I have fetched the additional detail in my order confirmation so you can see that in invoice as well the additional detail the term and condition will get fetched. Now going below I will go ahead and save and send this stock. Now it will ask for all the confirmation. You can check this box if you wish to go ahead and attach a digital signature on this stock. Now I will go ahead and click on yes. Once I will click on yes then after the invoice will be created in this sales transaction. Now, I will go ahead and click on this view transaction again. Now, this is the invoice which is created. And you can see that an approval has been sent to inventory for reducing the stock. In the same way, you can go ahead and create a delivery chalan as well in this. So, click on create document and click on delivery chalan. This is the delivery chalan format which will get opened in front of you. All the details will be prefetched from the document. You can go ahead and fill all the details according to your requirement. Now, going below, I will go ahead and click on save and send in order to make this delivery chalan. Now, this is the delivery chalan which is created on Transact. Now, as I have already Mention the delivery chalan as well and now I need to go ahead and fill the dispatch detail in my invoice. So what I will do, I will go back to my view transaction. I will open this invoice which I have created earlier. 
Now, on your right hand side in the very top, you will get an option of other actions. Click on this. Then here, you will get an option of dispatch. Click on the dispatch. I will go ahead and put the title of this dispatch. Dispatch through FedEx. The transporter name, I will go ahead and put. Tracking number, I will go ahead and put down here. This is just a display tracking number, which I am inputting here. You can very well go ahead and put your own tracking number. Now the vehicle number. Now the dispatch to This item was dispatched on 28th. I will go below and click on dispatch. This is the dispatch detail which is created. I will click on view transaction and once I will go below, please have a look. I can see the entire dispatch detail here. Have a look. Same going, the transaction status will also get changed. The invoice created and goods dispatch will get displayed. In the so this is how you can go ahead and create an entire sales transaction on your transaction. I hope it helped you out. Have a good day.